We've had some visitors today. Why are they trying to figure out how to get in? I bought an abandoned church at the border of Area 51. <laughs> it had no water, no well, but a lot has happened since the last video and still nothing has gone as planned. Our resort, or what will be our resort, is located three miles from Area 51. Area 51 is actually located right next to Rachel, Nevada. Do you think I can see the back gate so good from here? Yeah. Area 51 is right over there. Rachel, Nevada is about two and a half to three hours away from any city. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. 50 to 70 people in this town. That's how tiny of a town. It's such a small town that there are no schools. And basically this is Main Street right here. So in the last video you guys watched, the pads were not finished. Everything was exposed. The wood was exposed. We had gotten rid of our contractors. So we had to make a tough decision. Winter's coming. All of the wood is exposed. We had to call back and hope that our current contractors would come back and finish what they had started. So the contractors agreed to come back and finish the project. We're gonna be getting these, this one completed. Then the next three weeks, contractors coming out here to finish this one and all the rest of these over here, all four of these are gonna be getting finished. But this happened. I know, I'm bold. Go, no, go, go. no, 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 Another active day out here by Area 51. Never a dull moment. Unfortunately, last time I didn't make it very clear. I guess a lot of people thought we were open for business, but people started showing up. So we, we've had some visitors today already on this property. And I want to show you something because just let me show you this one. Okay, I know, it's, I know it doesn't, I know it's, it's pretty thrash. I know it's, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's pretty tough though. Look at that sign. Look at that sign right there. See that? Now we did our first video and we've already had multiple people show up at the property here. Did they go into our building just now? And it wasn't their fault. We didn't hold it against them. We just let them know that we're not ready yet. We're not open. We can't legally have people on the property. Why are they trying to figure out how to get in? Um. <laughs> we say it so even if you're colorblind you can see this uh, nothing against colorblind people of course really? i think that gets the message across but we are really glad that you all are excited to come out there and you want to know how to book there's no booking yet there's no phone numbers yet there's no official name of this company yet hopefully no one's in there also <laughs> look show me there it's really sketchy just give him a little peek so things started to go together really good We started to get in the roof song. We started to get in things stained. We are heading back to our property, to the project. We haven't been there in a week. 
The contractors have been working there all week, so we have no idea what they've done. We're gonna go check it out. Let's go see. So we got the metal roof up. That's kind of good. And we got, they put all the metal bracing over here. They still have to seal all of these cracks in, but wow, this one looks really good. I really like how, how much staining they did on this one. But as you can see, there was a problem. Maybe you don't see it yet. Since they were using rollers to roll this, there's a very specific way you have to, I guess I didn't know this, and I'm not blaming them for not knowing this. If you don't roll it correctly, you're gonna end up with lines. And this is what the guys noticed themselves. You can see brush marks all through, even like this, I think it looks really amazing. It sounds like SpongeBob when I'm walking. They had to fix it and they came back and they sprayed it off. Right, now we got the second coat on here. Let's check it out. So we got the stains finished, but there's a problem with this. If anyone walks on the dirt and walks on these pads, it leaves marks all over. Just a nightmare to keep it clean, which leads us to another problem. We knew we were gonna have to pay a lot of money to get this finished. This last phase cost us $70,000. You told me that we were getting ripped off. Listen, I believe you, but I had no choice. I had to make a decision. Let these things sit until I can find a contractor to come out here and finish them, let the wood rot and, and have some issues or pay the current contractors more to finish, which is what I opted to do. I know I got ripped off big time. I got taken to the cleaners. There was no more materials. I had already bought all the materials. All the materials were already on site. Three weeks of work. That's what they charged me. So it's time to move the fifth wheels because the pads are done. At least the staining was done. But I did something really, really stupid. It looks really bad. We're just trying to protect the sewer line. And then I think we're going to just park it right there. Okay, okay, stop. sideways. Just for reference, as you can see, there was just no room to get onto this pad. And you're probably thinking, why are you building this pad here? Right in a way where there's a church. Our plan is to demolish that church. That church is gonna be gone. We're gonna rip it down. Here's the building, the little church. This building is actually gonna be torn down, but it's gonna need to be here for at least another, I would say, year. We're gonna clear it all out. We're gonna leave this stuff here in the front and we're gonna turn this into a little gym so we can start exercising. Cause we're gonna be living out here almost full time filming new content for you guys. I'll tell you in a minute what we're gonna do with the rest of the property. One night we were out sitting outside and we were hanging out. Yeah, it's right there and Emma noticed lights at the back gate. I was like, nah, there's no lights in the back gate. So we pulled out the super zoom camera. I zoomed that camera to lens. I put it on my Sony and I zoomed all the way in. And sure enough, there was like cop lights back there. So we said, you know what? We gotta go check this out. So after we got back from the back gate, it was getting really late. And then we noticed flashlights on the other side of the property. Ever since we released our video, we've been having people stopping by all day. So much so that we've had to put out the cones you see in the road to prevent people from driving in. So they're over there at the gas station. Maybe they won't come up. Why would they come up at night? That's kind of creepy. I would hit that light. You can shut the light off. He disappeared. 
So while we were waiting to see what they were gonna do, it was kind of nice that they showed up because we caught this on camera. So they're going for a walk, Emma. I'm gonna run. <laughs> I'm scared. Just have no alarm. Ooh, dude, whoa, whoa, Did dude. you get that? I don't know, I hope so. That was a giant shooting star. Let me show you the skies out here. They are so amazing. You can see all the constellations. There's the Big Dipper. Oh, there's a little blinker. A little blinker right there. See a little blinky? Here's how it looks before, and here is how it looks now. And we have a camera right there and some more lights. So yesterday, I noticed something. I was sitting. Do you see the white truck right there? You probably don't see it, but there's a white truck. Our, our Ram 3500 diesel diesel truck. See where those people are right there? I don't know if you can see them either. You probably can't see any of this stuff. <laughs> so I was sitting outside and we noticed what appeared to be a giant missile. They came from the base. We saw them take this road. They brought out like um, a dozer, multiple trucks. None of them had license plates on the trucks. We want to go see if we can find it. Let's go. I know they went by this little abandoned house over here. They went that way, so that's where we're gonna go. Not much going on in there. Out here in the middle of nowhere, like old times. Let's keep rolling. Right in front of us is that missile. Oh, it looks like a kind of like a missile, almost looks like a jet even from here. But we're gonna go over there and figure out how to get there. I do see a road going that way. We may have taken the wrong turn, but we're gonna head down this road first and see if it swings back that way. If not, we're gonna go that way and see if it swings that way. But either way, we're gonna get out there and see what that is. It's like barrels. Look at that, it's freaking wood. This is definitely the same one. <laughs> wood. And that's not with metal, it's like, I don't know. Not sure how we do this. So you asked me to check the water here. We got this Enviro test kits. We're gonna ship this off and you will get the results in the next video. You probably hate that I'm doing that to you, but I don't even know the results right now. That's it, let's go. As you see, we have everything we need for the kitchens. We have the water, the drain, and we got power, but we need to put in kitchens here. This whole area, I wanna put pavers here and pavers in the back right here. So you will be able to hang out back here. You'll have like a little backyard, a little barbecue out here. We wanna put our fences between this and each of these spots here. Just nice looking fences, probably standard six foot fence. Nobody wants to be camping out here and have their suit and their neighbor's sewer line right next to them. So we want to give them some privacy. We want to put concrete in here. Back here, I want to put a giant steel building and I want it to be a two-story building with an indoor basketball court. In addition on the top, I want it to be like a terrace where you can go up with all glass around this the top. We need to get that well house finished. One thing I really need is an architect. We have to put utilities in. We need to have the power company come out. You can see there's a pole there. Uh, give us whatever power we're gonna be needing here. So no matter what your skills are, are you a concrete specialist? We can use you. Are you an electrician? We can use you. Are you a plumber? We can use you. Are you an attorney? Who knows how to do zoning out here? We could use you. If you have any of those skills, check out ewomedia.com or send an email at work at ewomedia.com. Be sure to let us know as we can use all the help we can get.